Hello friends, I am Dr. Manjesh. I am Devasis. Today we are going to interact with Miss Parinita Gogoi. She is a PhD scholar, ISC Bangalore. And today's video is very motivational for the parents, especially for the girls' parents, because already we know that ISC Bangalore is number one university in India and also the renowned institution of the world. So the students, as parents, they want, they wish to join ISC Bangalore. So today she is going to tell us about the admission procedure, faculties, working environment, and many other things. So let us start. So thank you, Parinta, for joining with us today. Uh, we welcome to our channel, AN Foundation. So first you tell us about yourself, uh, your academic background, your native place, and your career journey, if you have any experience before joining ISC Bangalore. Yeah, sure. Uh, hello, sir, and hello, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here today. Uh, my name is Parinita Gogoi, and I am from Margherita, Assam. I am currently pursuing my PhD from Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, where I am researching on semiconductor nanocrystals. I have completed my integrated MSc in chemistry from uh, Tejpur University, Assam, and then I joined here as a research scholar. So thank you for having me here, and yeah, I'm looking forward to a productive discussion today. Okay. So, uh, did you have any experience before joining there? Yeah, I did. After I completed my masters, I uh, I actually was a guest faculty in North Lakhimpur College for yeah. some time, and then I did a project and I in Tejpur University itself, and I left that project and I joined here. Yes. Great, great. Now, that is great. great. You have experience yeah. also. So. Yeah. The, that is very important question because as parents, they wish to join ISC Bangalore. So you tell the in details what is the admission procedure there in PhD. Okay. So I'll tell in the perspective of a chemistry student. So okay. for a chemistry student, you can enter ISC through three ways. Okay. You need to qualify net or gate or you may be an inspire you may have an inspire fellowship so okay. after that a cut off list will come where they provide the cut off ranks and uh, once you qualify the cut off you will be called for the interview so there will be two rounds of interview if you qualify the first round then you will go to the second round if you qualify the second round then congratulations you are in isc <laughs> okay so <laughs> that is very really good and uh, once, little detail I want to know, the interview process, the two interviews are there, so it is difficult, easy, which kind of question, Miss? explain in brief. Uh, the first round will be technical questions, like it will be related to the subject and they will ask questions, like they will ask you, like what are you prepared with, firstly is that, then uh, if you can do well there, mostly it will be technical questions. Like in my experience, it was like they asked questions from my subject and what I am expertise in. And after that, in the second round, mostly it was non-technical questions like whom are you interested to join, in which field and which area you want your interest are in. So it's kind of that. Oh, general question means HR type, you can say it. Yeah, sure. Okay, okay. And uh, uh, interview process, process uh, what do you feel? It, it was easy, Miss, for you? It was easy or uh, how, how, miss, how, how much time, time they have taken, taken for the interview process? Uh, I mean, uh, everybody has different experiences. For okay. me, the first round was uh, quite easy, but they were quite, the like, questions were basic actually. They okay. will test your basic uh, knowledge and things and gradually they will ask you some advanced level of questions and it's kind of um, my experience was mixed mixed like, up means yeah every type. type means yeah. depends, depends upon, upon the person, person also if you know the answer, answer then it is easy if you don't know answer yeah. it is hard yes. okay yes. Uh, it is the uh, now uh, 
the scholarship in PIT you are getting a scholarship everybody is getting it everybody knows it so how much is scholarship it, it is general question yeah for JRF it is 31,000 and for SRF it is 35,000 yes and uh, another thing uh, that uh, if you are going for the international conference national everybody is giving so international conference what support you are getting how much money you can maximum get yeah for international conference support IIC gives two lakhs for a student yeah in two lakhs it is covered like yes two lakhs means one year no i think for the whole tenure for five years only they will give two lakhs only so okay. Okay, so uh, what is the tuition fees that is required for PhD? Uh, tuition fees is uh, 20,000 per year. 20,000 per year? Oh, that is very yeah. less. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. So, uh, so yeah, if you deduct uh, your tuition fee, how much uh, will be your pocket money after deducting all the expenses? In per month? Uh -huh. Per month. Around. Oh. Lodging okay, and food, for, all uh, you can include the lodging and food, yeah. everything you can. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, Institute provides hostel and mess facilities. So there are five messes. So uh, according to badge and non badge preferences. So the uh, actually the mess dues differ from a mess to a different mess. So it will be like 5,000 to 6,000 around. So okay. uh, yeah. And uh, hostel fees is around 1,000 per month. 1,000 or 1,200, I guess. So. Okay, so we, I guess uh, is uh, means uh, at least twenty five thousand pocket money per month. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that is very appreciative. Everywhere the same, I think. Yeah, it is same. Yeah. And one uh, process that was when I have joined IIT Guwahati. So after joining there, so first department will select you. Then what happens now after joining there? You have to select the guide. The same procedure also okay. you have to follow there. It depends on the department actually, like the, the department I was in, so the guide was selected when I gave the interview. Okay. They only, they asked me which guide you want to work with. Okay. But in different departments, it is different. In some departments, it's like they will select you at first and then they will ask, the, the guide will choose you, something like that. So it differs according to department and department, according to guide also, it differs actually. Okay, so how many years still now you have completed? I joined in uh, July 2022, so like six months, seven. seven oh, months. so till now you have not published year. any paper. So it was general. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So another very important question is how many papers it required? Uh, so it in IIT Guwahati there is no that was compulsory. Uh, yeah. If you have not any paper, then in my time it was no paper. Then also you can get degree. But this time they have done what they have done. Minimum one, one paper, SCI paper, paper. It should be. So what okay. is there? Uh, there is no such compulsion here, but I had a paper actually when I did my master's master's project. I had a paper, okay. so I think that adds up to it. But it's not compulsory as such. Okay, okay, that is. And uh, currently, what is your working working area in the chemistry? What you what you? Yeah, working? I work in uh, semiconductor nanocrystals. So the field is semiconductor, and I work in quantum dots mainly. Okay, so uh, that is a uh, this so, uh, okay. So, what are the research facility available for you for uh, oh. overall uh, as a institute? Yeah, research facility is good. Like the institute provides all kinds of basic and advanced facilities required mm -hmm. for research, so there won't be any such problem for like the facilities and things. Okay, okay. Uh, okay so I am asking about the working area. So that working area. In which you are working, so what, what it is it very demanding area. You see, you are seeing the scope in this area. Means uh, it is very new thing you are working. Uh, means uh, see, the okay. semiconductor industry is growing in India. Okay. The, for the next ten years, the semiconductor industry will grow. So I think uh, it's a good area to work in for now. Like okay. for the next few years at least, the industry needs semiconductors and yeah. So I think it's a good thing to work now. <laughs> now coming to the next question uh, that is uh, the working environment. Uh, working environment means uh, that everybody is afraid of ISC Bangalore because number one institution so you have to work very hard means from morning to evening. So what uh, what is there? What is your experience? Uh, actually the work culture uh, differs from lab to lab but in my lab uh, it is quite good I must say. 
we do not need to work beyond the office hours and on holidays we do not really work until and unless there is something very very important Hmm. But still, I must say the workload is quite quite high. So, <laughs> okay, yeah. so workload is quite quite high. Quite high, yes. Okay, so <laughs> it is. So many students will see, then they will simply leave this college because <laughs> workload is. No, yeah, after yeah, joining, yeah, they will not leave. But uh, initially, <laughs> they will think I will join another college. Yeah, the workload is high. Yes, I must say that. But it's okay. We can manage. I mean, yes. It's manageable. Okay. It's manageable, yes. So, what about the uh, footing and, uh, and lodging? About uh, how, uh, uh, what kind of uh, room you are getting for in hostel? Single sharing, double Single sharing, sharing yeah. and food you like or not? Yeah. The hostel rooms are quite good. All are single rooms. We do not get double rooms. Uh, for UG people, there are undergraduate people, they have double rooms. But for PhD people, they are all single rooms. So, uh, yeah, the food is good. Uh, it's good, I mean. <laughs> Compared to the food. previous, you are vegetarian. Okay. No, I'm non vegetarian. Not vegetarian, <laughs> okay. So, Compared to the, your previous university, you have experience there, you have also uh, fooding and food and all the lodging. So, what is the food here? You will compare to that university? Yeah, it is way better. Way better. Way that better. is good. Better, yes. Completely, it is way better. So yeah, now already you have told about, about uh, your scope, scope in your area, area because it is a growing industry and semiconductor everybody. So already who is working in this area, they know. Yeah. So now uh, you are in the only six months you have completed. Okay. Yeah. So what is your future plan? Means what you see. So what is the planning you have after completing this PhD? Well, uh, it is quite early for me to say about my future plans because okay. I am in my early years of my research. So, but I definitely aspire to do something through which I can contribute to the growth of the society. I mean, so, 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 yeah, uh, there are industry jobs for semiconductor industry. So there are industry jobs, yes. So. Yeah, I might apply for that or maybe I may go to academia. Yeah. So time will say actually. But, oh, still you have not decided. You have any plan for the postdoc? Well, uh, it's quite early to say, but let's but, see what comes okay. to the way. Okay, so still you have not decided yet, but uh, you want to do something for your society. That is your main agenda. Yeah. So if you would go, if you go in the company, that will also good. If you go in academics, but it should be beneficial to the society. That is the main agenda. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that is very appreciative. Lastly, we have now come to the final point. So already you have experience also, and now you are uh, a scholar in IIS Bangalore. That is very good. So, so what, what you will suggest to the parents? Okay, my suggestion will be like if you are really really passionate about research, then ISC is a great place to be in. So it will provide you with all kinds of facilities that will give wings to your imaginations maybe. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> it's a great place to be in. But you have to be really really passionate about your research and you have to work hard actually because the pressure is high. Okay, okay, so, so you, you are, are telling, you are uh, guiding the student that uh, if, if you are passionate, then, then only you join ISC. Workload is very high. You, you have, have to work, work there. there. Means uh, yeah. you will it's not, you, you can enjoy also, also but you, uh, you have to work yeah, there. Yeah. We can enjoy, yes, because there is time. Like if we, if one wishes to pursue hobbies other than research, then yeah, we you, one can. And we are encouraged also in our department, like our faculty say to, pursue other things like don't like go inside the research a lot that would like hamper the mental health also so yeah we can pursue other hobbies also here uh, one little uh, misinformation i want from you that uh, the faculties so yeah. they are supporting you miss seniors your support they are giving you support yeah they are quite supportive yes they have started supporting yeah okay. in my personal experience they were quite supportive yes Okay, that is very good. So uh, now, thank you very much, uh, Miss Parinita. Thank you. And uh, I, I really hope you will success. And what you, what you have the plan, you will definitely get it. 
एंड डेफिनेटली दिस इंट्रैक्शन विल हेल्प द स्टूडेंट एस पेरेंट्स दे विश टू ज्वाइन आई एस सी बेंगलोर बिकॉज ऑलरेडी हैव टोल्ड योर एक्सपीरियंस एंड द प्रोसीजर दैट इज वेरी मच इम्पोर्टेंट बिकॉज एवरी मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हैव आस्क मी सो एंड ऑल्सो द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ आई एस सी बेंगलोर दैट इज वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट बिकॉज सी आई एस सी बेंगलोर इज ए वेरी रिनाउंड इंस्टीट्यूशन सो इट विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प and it will guide the students and thank you once again thank you very much uh, to join with us and uh, to interact with us thank you sir thank you devasita okay thank you thank